hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Soba I mean Juliana please I would like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers you guys are wonderful I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart you guys know that without you there will be no so by me I want to say a big thank you to all of you out there and uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel if today is your first time watching my video please do subscribe and uh, do not forget to like this video at the end and also turn on your notification bell to know when I upload new video today will be I'll be showing you guys uh, it's a, just a quick uh, video how to choose a sewing needle how to select and choose your sewing needle for uh, the beginners this uh, tutorial is for the beginners because um, I've, I started sewing some years back and I, I had no knowledge of sewing or how to use sewing machine I've made a, um, my previous video on how to use this sewing machine this is a single prelude a single prelude a sewing machine I made a, a video few weeks ago on how to use this machine how to go around your machine and start sewing as a beginner so uh, today we'll be making this video on how to choose your sewing needle it's very important one thing is about uh, uh, so um, getting your sewing machine and knowing how to go about it also how to uh, insert and use your needle in case sometimes uh, you might have a little difficult figuring this out especially the, the beginners so that's why I'm making this video. Um, you guys can see here, I have a, I have some needle here. You can see here, this is the name of the, the sewing needle I'm using today. Um, this is exactly the one already inserted on my sewing machine. And this equally is another sewing, uh, sewing needle. It's from, uh, it's from PJC. It's PJC uh, sewing needle. It also works. It works well on this sewing machine, this single prelude. I've used uh, these needles. That's why I'm trying to review it today to show you guys, especially uh, the beginners, that you can equally uh, use some of the sewing needles here to uh, to make your project. So here is the first one. Before you choose your sewing needle, you have to consider the type of fabric, the type of sewing project you are, you are embarking on. It's very important because most of the sewing needles here, you see, um, some of them, they are, mostly they are numbered. They have numbers here. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Yeah, they have numbers. This product. I got it from a, a fabric store and also this one I got it from a grocery store it's, um, here in Canada I live in Toronto unlimited by then so I'm just trying to show you guys this one is uh, you see the price here it comes with all these sewing things but I bought it at a dollar 25 cents and this one also I got it from fabric store, seven dollar twenty five cent. They are on sale for seven dollar. But original price, it's uh, it was fourteen thirty nine. I'm just uh, trying to show you guys what I've used, and it works well for me. It worked so well uh, some years back. That's this is the only uh, sewing needle I use on this sewing machine, and they worked so well. So if you are using this machine and uh, um, yeah you can equally use them this uh this particular universal sewing machine it works well with mo at least mostly um single uh, single machine all the single mention universal needle can work so well but before you go about on your project you have to choose uh, check the what you are working on if you are making lighter fabric and your like day to day things you wear like normal sewing projects you go with a uh, number 80 and the 90 that's the best sewing needle for your project 80 and the 90 so but if you are going for uh, making things like uh, ofo strip working with a thick fabric you go for thicker sewing needle you see here like you go with 
uh, the list here is 90 and the 80. That some years back I've used this 90 to make my um, I bought Ofo Sri uh, fabric. You know, it's uh, very thick. This fabric for your couch and all that, or your grocery bag, little uh, heavy project. It worked so well too. Yeah, I've used them. It did not break yet. I'm just confirming to you guys. I have mentioned what 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 works well for me. I've used them with experience. It worked so well the 90 and the 80 because when i started i had no idea on how to do this i use them <laughs> i use them to make all my sewing projects and it worked so well what uh one thing that always breaks breaks your sewing needle is when you are working when you are sewing do not forget to remove your pin you know, when you are sewing, you have to pin down your fabric in order to get the, the accurate measurement. When you are sewing, as it goes in, you are sewing uh, press a paddle. Just remember to remove your pin. Remove the pin. If you go try to sew along the pin, sometimes it breaks your needle. That's one thing that always breaks my needle in the past. So, make sure when you are working with lighter fabric, like cotton fabric 80 and 90 your daily normal project but when you are working with uh, um you're doing a project on any heavy duty fabric you use 110 or 100 and yeah 110 120 it depends this one ends in 120 you can see sorry 110 but this one has only 100 and, uh, sorry, 70 and 90. Yeah, but you can you still use it to make your, yeah, when you are making that uh, heavy fabric, it still works so well. But mind you, the lighter, the, the lighter your project, the fabric, the lighter the sewing needle. The heavier the fabric you are working with, the heavier the needle because lighter fabric uh, it goes well with lighter needle when you are working with heavy fabric like Ofo Street or something like uh, cushion like big projects go for the thicker needle the heavier needles like 110 120 depending on what you have remember that so yeah that's a that's a quick thing and also more importantly do not uh, uh overuse your needle always remember to change your needle after every uh heavy sewing project when you do any sewing project like you know that it's heavy like you make a uh you sew a jean project something like jean denim fabric you have to change it that's the instruction on how to use it. But to be honest with you guys, I make, I use sewing my needle. This one here now, as I'm talking to you, I have a needle here inserted on my uh, machine. I've used it for almost one month or more than that. It depends on how you sew, how careful you are. When you are sewing, always remove that needle. Sorry, remove the pins. You know the pins you use to hold your fabric together in order to sew. Remove it before you take it into your sewing. Uh, as you are sewing gradually, as it's coming through, remove the pins. Because that's one thing I noticed that always breaks my needle. So, but normally, uh, when after working on three to four projects, make sure you change your needle. Yeah, it's better to do it that way. Three to four projects, change your needle. Or when you work, when you have a heavy project, try to change your needle in order to help your sewing machine last longer. Yes, everything needs maintenance. If you don't do it, you can wear it out and uh, it will stop working. So that's the most important thing to do. So when you are sewing always remember 
to choose your needle. But sometimes uh, uh, it depends on the, uh, your sewing project again. You can decide to choose a particular needle because there are some uh, sewing project that has, if you go to fabric store, I saw it there, uh, uh, yeah, the other couple of days ago, I went to my fabric store. Um, there is a needle for jean. There is a needle for quilting. Some of you that do quilt, there are some needle for that. So go decide what you you want to make or what you want to sew. Go for it. Look for the needle. Yeah, there are some needle for a certain project. You cannot use this needle now for um for for quilting. Yeah of when you are sewing a uh, denim jean like jean uh, fabric hard so hard fabric it will not it will not work well with it but it may it may work uh, to a certain level and later it will break so no need it's better to go for if you know what you are working on the project you want to make go for the needle that's the best uh, advice i will give you guys yes it's very easy it's not something too hard and uh, once you get, have your correct needle you are good to go and uh, this machine good thing about it again when i i bought this machine it came with the needle yeah the, it came with the needle in this uh this storage container i told you guys uh, last time i made the video how to use this machine it came with a sewing needle here you can see yes this is another one yeah i have this one like i said before this is uh um for you see denim jeans you see this is for jean when you are making jean fabric jeans fabric you use this sewing mention sorry this this sewing needle it works so well yes so when i bought this uh, this machine it came with a sewing needle already yeah it came with it and everything and the needle is uh what uh, yeah they inserted they inserted the needle already so it came prepared like everything but the 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 thread pool here the only thing i i chose was this thing uh this um stopper trade stopper uh, it was inside this this container storage container so but everything it came with the needle already inserted here so you don't need to worry about that yes so that in order to and you have a remaining needle here in case you have like came with like a pack of needle so that's good thing about this so you don't have to worry if you are buying uh, if you are going to get yourself this uh, sewing machine for the beginner you don't worry about uh, how to get your needle and all that for the first time before you start uh, you know after your first project and second project you start you get used to it and you figure it out by yourself so this is just a, a simple and quick video for the beginners I believe this, um, the all I've said so far will be uh, beneficial to someone out there who is uh, um, looking forward to start sewing and um, learning how to use your needle or choose your the right needle. Yeah, these are the ones I've been using since I started uh, sewing. Yes, the names and everything, I'll put it on my description box. And also this, it's uh, just a... Uh, um normal grocery store where i got this pjc product it comes in a pack like this with the bobbin yeah it came like this if you don't have this look for anywhere you, you might see something whenever i go to grocery store i always look around especially uh, places like walmart and all these some limited uh, bargain stores and all that i always check uh, even dollar dollar stores check for sewing section there you can get something that might be beneficial to you all right guys thank you for watching i appreciate you all please do like the video and subscribe to my channel 
Thank you. See you guys next time. Bye.